Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I have my final declutter video. It's all my eyeshadow palettes. So I have 30 eyeshadow palettes. So this is my last in a series of videos that I've done. I'll link all the videos and, and even that playlist down below if you wanna check it out. So I've done the rest of my makeup collection. This is what I'm left with, my eyeshadow palettes. I have 30, I counted them. Now that doesn't include my like potted cream shadows, my shadow sticks, or the single shadows that I recently received from ColourPop. These are just my palettes, and again, there's 30, so I need to kind of half that. That's just way too many. In my defense, I have purchased almost none of these. Most of these I've received in beauty boxes, so BoxyCharm, or a FabFitFun box, or a ColourPop mystery box that I got recently. Um, I've also got the Beautylish. A couple years in a row I've got those Beautylish uh, lucky bags. So that's where most of these have come from. I don't wear a lot of shadow, although today I did put some shadow on. I thought that was only appropriate for this video. So I did go ahead and put some shadow on. Oh, having said that, I didn't use any of these palettes. I purchased the new Charlotte Tilbury potted cream shadow. I'd wanted to try that product for years and I feel like it's beautiful. It was incredibly easy. It's a one shadow look for me. I just, with my finger, dipped in that pot, spread it out on my lid. Yeah, I, what do you guys think? I think it turned out really well. So before I get into decluttering these palettes, I wanna say a quick thank you just to everyone, to people who were previously subscribed, and then I've had a bunch of new subscribers recently. I can't even tell you how thrilling it is for me to have new people subscribe. I, I'm just, I'm over the moon with all of this. So this, for me, this is a hobby. I. I just really enjoy filming videos. I love to hear from you guys in the comments, so please leave me comments, video ideas, or what you thought of this video, or just say hi. You know, I'm just, I th I'm thrilled every time I get a comment. I do have some ladies that comment consistently, and I love to hear from you guys. So thank you to all the new subscribers, as well as thank you to everybody who just is has been subscribed in general. I. I'm just so thrilled with this whole process. I didn't I didn't know how it would go. I'd wanted to start a YouTube channel for a long time, but you know, you put things off and I was a bit nervous to be honest. You hear, you know how people get comments that are not kind or whatever. I, so anyways, I was a bit nervous, but so far for me, this has been fantastic. I did a video about, well, maybe about a week and a half ago now. It was my Lancome video where I tested out the Tenta Doll concealer. And I think that video has, you guys, like 1,200 views. It is, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Can you imagine if 1,200 people were in this room watching me put on concealer? That's what I think about every time I see that number go up. So thank you. Thank you to everybody who took the time to watch that video. It's just been very thrilling for me. So anyways, let's get into these eyeshadow palettes. Let's start with this one from Violet Voss. This is the Essentials Pro Series eyeshadow palette. You can see I have not even touched this a little bit. Look at this emerald shade. My goodness, that is beautiful. But <laughs> I've had it for years and I haven't used it. Look at this shade too. Wow, that's beautiful. I mean, they're gorgeous. Again though, I haven't used it. I have hardly, I don't even know, I can't even tell if I've swatched other than those two that I just did. So I'm gonna pass that on because it's in good shape and hopefully somebody will get some use out of it. So pass it along. I have this one from Cab Cosmetics. This is actually pretty new to me and I'm gonna keep this one because a lot of these shades I really love and I feel like they're easy for me to use, like naked, sand, and then some shimmer shades. That's kind of the most adventurous that I get. Like, look at this Luna shade. Wow, that's pretty. Oh my goodness, and then Golden Hour. They're beautiful. They're very soft and creamy as well. So this one I'm gonna keep, again, it's pretty new to me from Cab Cosmetics, so keeping that one. This one from Fenty Beauty, I mean, look at it, it's dusty, you guys. I have palettes that are dusty. That's how little I use them. 
but this packaging is gorgeous and then these are the shades inside here it's so pretty i think i'm going to keep this one again there's lots of shades in here that you know i can use that are going to be easy for me to use so i'm going to keep that one i have this little quad that i picked up at the drugstore it's very pretty and easy to use and i have gotten quite a bit of use out of it actually very very nice again very easy to use and these are just like those are everyday colors for me so I'm gonna keep that little one and then I also have this one from elf that I I find easy for me because it comes with this little cheat sheet so I, I'm also gonna keep that one I've used this one maybe only a couple of times but it's a nice little size and especially for travel like how handy is that that you've got everything in there so yeah very nice I'm gonna keep that one and again I have used it quite a few times I have this one from Laura Lee Los Angeles party animal it's called like yeah it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous look at this bottoms up shade let's just let's swatch it just for fun here oh my goodness this is fantastic I'm gonna keep this because if ever I want to do some sort of a Halloween look I feel like this would be handy I don't have anything like this in my collection so I'm never gonna use it day to day it is fantastic but this one from Ciate London is also very new to my collection and it is beautiful like that is fantastic and I have used some of these shimmery shades a little bit too and they're very very pretty where can I show you here just beautiful so I'm gonna keep that one as well it's new I've hardly used it and the packaging also is fantastic I have this one from blink it's a limited edition palette the evening glamour it's gorgeous I mean it's got a couple of blush shades that are so pretty and then those shadow shades there like this one feels like butter like that is it's so pretty yeah just gorgeous so I I'm gonna pass it on I feel like it's nice there's nothing wrong with it I really like it but it's new enough that maybe somebody could get some use out of it and I just I'm not reaching for it so I'm gonna get rid of that one this color pop one golden state of mind I've had a long time and I have used it a little bit and it's an all shimmer palette but again, I just, I don't reach for it. They feel a little bit kind of dry and maybe I've had it just too long actually. I've had it for years. Yeah, I think you can even see that. The shadows all feel pretty crumbly. Probably just time for that one to get tossed out. I have had it a long time. I did use it a little bit. You can see I've dipped in there a little bit. Not a ton, of course, but it was it, you know it was really nice you probably can't get it anymore either but I'm gonna pass that one along or maybe even just throw it out because it is kind of old I have this one from Natasha Denona that I got in a Beautylish lucky bag last year this is beautiful I should pass this on because I don't really use it I don't do ready mauvey pinky eye looks I do more you know neutral taupey brown kind of looks but this is beautiful like gorgeous I'm keeping it <laughs> I'm probably never really gonna use it but you know what it's new to me I can't I can't yet don't make me I can't let it go I'm gonna keep it this one I got I think in a fab fit fun it's by beauty bakery proof is in the pudding 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 how cute is that eyeshadow palette this is beautiful I'm gonna keep it it's new to me and these are shades that I feel like you know potentially I would use again have I used it no but I've only had this maybe a year so I'm gonna keep that one then I have this celestial thunder from Dominique cosmetics this is beautiful honestly just gorgeous but again I don't reach for it look at this what does this say black matter oh my goodness how pretty is that wow just a beautiful palette i just love to swatch all the shimmer shades 
Fantastic. I'm going to pass that on. I bet you somebody I know would get some use out of it. This one from Crown, I've had a long time as well. It's, you know, it is kind of right up my alley. Um, you know, shades I would use and stuff, but I just, oh yeah, I feel like it's getting kind of old and I've had it a long time and it's pretty crumbly in there. They're not, just not as smooth as they once were. So that's one that probably just needs to go in the garbage. I, I again, I have had it a very long time, years and years actually, so. Put that one in the get rid of pile. This one is pretty new to me. It's by OPV Beauty and it's the Spotlight palette. How beautiful are those shades? Like some of these shimmer ones are just gorgeous. And you know what? They look very intimidating in the pan here, but I remember when I first got this even, when you swatch them, they're kind of a little bit more muted, so. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry if you can hear the dogs. The dogs and the cat are fighting, as per every video. <laughs> I am going to pass this one along. I'm just, I have too much. I just have too many. I'm not reaching for it. See if somebody else could get some use out of it. It is really nice, and it is actually pretty new to my collection, but I'm going to pass it along. You know, we just have to make some, some hard cuts here. This one is Hello Charmer. It's a boxy charm palette. And I'm gonna pass this one along too. Although, like some of these shades, this swipe up, oh, it's, it's a little bit of a crumbly mess actually. It's a very chunky glitter, but it's beautiful. Look at this one here too. Oh, wow, okay, and last one, this Lux shade here. Where can I show you? Oh, that's pretty. That's really nice. I'll see if I know anyone who could get some use out of it. I'm not using it, so pass that one along. Okay, I have this massive one from Storybook Cosmetics. That's the shadows there. It's very pretty, but I've had it a long time. I've never reached for it. I, I don't even know that I've really ever, other than swatching these, have ever even really reached in here, but wow. That is fantastic. Beautiful. It's beautiful. But again, I don't I don't reach for it. So pass that one along. This one from Blink is quite pretty. But again, I don't reach for it. And I feel like all of these are I have them in other palettes. But let's check out this one here. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Got a little blue mixed in there. <laughs> So yeah, probably I've had this so many years at this point, probably just get rid of it. Okay, then I got this one from Dose of Colors. It's the Marvelous Mobs. It's beautiful, but again, I don't really reach for these sorts of tones. I prefer more browns and taupes and you know, much you know, easier things for me to use. I just don't really know how to how to work with this, but it's beautiful. I've hardly used it. Comes with a little double-ended brush in there. How cute is that? Looks like they're all matte shades. Nothing's shimmery, so it's beautiful. I'll, I'll pass that along. I bet you someone can get some use out of it. I have two of these ones, the five pan from Natasha Denona. I'm gonna keep both of them. Even though this one, this is the Peak palette, and this one is the Ayana palette. The Peak palette isn't really shades I probably would use a ton of. They're, you know, these ones are a little bit more red toned, like a kind of a red undertone with that one, but you know, maybe those three I would use, and also it's Natasha Denona, so I'm keeping it. This one is really pretty. Um, like, look at this shade here. Oh my goodness, that is, that's gorgeous. Again, am I going to use it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm keeping both of those. <laughs> I have these two little ones from e.l.f. This one is the Berry Bad, and this one I think is cookies, no, cream and sugar. I'm going to keep both of these. They're, they're great. Now, again, this one, am I going to reach for that a ton? No, but they're fairly inexpensive, and they're a nice size palette, and they're pretty new to me, so I'm going to keep both of those as well. And same with both of these from ColourPop. These are new to me. I just got them. I recently did a... I purchased the ColourPop mystery box, the large one. I actually filmed that video. I'll link it in case you want to watch it. But it came with this Nook Ink palette. 
which is gorgeous. I did swatch these in that video, but honestly, this is beautiful. And oh, let's do this one too, because why not? Oh my goodness. I need to be adventurous. I need to do it, because look at those. Like that's beautiful. So I am keeping both of those. I just have to figure out how to use it. Where's the clean finger? I'm out of fingers. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. So chunky, <laughs> but also very pretty. So I'm keeping both of those. They're new to me. Okay, we are getting down to the last few here. This one from Tarte I'm keeping. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. I do reach into this palette all the time. It's beautiful. You have this one matte shade that is just perfect for me for an all over the lid shade. And then all these shimmers. This is just easy for me to use. I don't think you can still get this one, this version of it, but they do sell still these Rainforest of the Seas. It's very pretty packaging and I do reach into this one all the time when I just want a simple, you know, put a little bit of something on my lid. I'll reach for this one. It's really nice. I'm keeping that. And then I have this one. This is the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. And I just haven't used this. It's new to me, but again, it's more pinky mauvey tones that I don't tend to reach for. So I'm gonna pass that one along. This one from Real Her is probably my oldest eyeshadow palette, I would say, in here. This is the volume one, I guess, Be Your Own Kind of Beauty. It's so old and yeah, you can see I, I have hardly even used it. Lots of pretty shades in there, but just, yeah, I, I haven't used it. It's old, I'm just gonna get rid of it. This one from Ace Beauty or Ace Beauté, Scarlet Dusk is brand new. I don't think I've ever even dipped a finger in there. All of those look new. So I'm gonna pass that one along again you know, ready, pinky, purpley tones that I just don't, I don't reach for. So, and it's beautiful. Like, look at this outer packaging. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Passing that one along. Another Violet Voss one. This is the Essentials 2. Also, haven't even touched any of those. So I'm going to pass that one along because why not, right? Like, I'm not reaching for it. Maybe, maybe I've touched a little bit in there, but yeah. That's a good one to pass on too because I haven't really touched it or used it. Okay, and then the last eyeshadow palette I have is this one, Under My Skin from Miss Fame. I love this. Look at this thing. First of all, this packaging, it's hard for me to even get the whole thing in here to show you, but it's thick and bulky and heavy and just luxe. Like this whole thing is beautiful i love it i'm keeping it do i use it no <laughs> but these are so pretty let's swatch a few of these so you can see oh my goodness beautiful i need to try to you know step out of my comfort zone and use some of these they're all oh let's do this one oh that's so pretty also very chunky but I love it. Like, these are gorgeous. It's not a daily wear for me, for sure. I, pr I don't know that I will ever really get much use out of this, but it's so beautiful. Like, I'm going to keep it. So there we go. Keeping 16 palettes. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And getting rid of those 14 there. So pretty good. We did pretty good. Getting rid of 14 and keeping 16. So there we have it. There's the all of my eyeshadow palettes gone through and decluttered. I feel great that I went through my collection. You know, at this point, that was the last grouping of things I had to go through. So I think I probably, honestly, have probably half my makeup collection, which, you know, just gives me room now to purchase more things. So, <laughs> you know, the holidays, all the holiday releases are coming up. I had nowhere to put things. Anyways, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe, that would be fantastic. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone!